Raymond Panikar was born in 1918 in Barcelona, Spain, son of a Spanish Roman Catholic mother and a Hindu Indian father. Panikar's father was a chemist who had studied in England and who later became a freedom fighter during British colonial rule in India. Raymond Panikar was educated at Jesuit schools. He earned a PhD in chemistry in 1946 and a PhD in philosophy in 1948, both at the University of Madrid. He earned a third PhD, this one in Catholic theology, at the Pontifical Lateran University in Rome in 1961. Panikar was ordained a Catholic priest for the Diocese of Barcelona in 1946 and was appointed Professor of Philosophy at the University of Madrid that same year. In 1954, he made his first trip to India, his father's homeland. There he studied Indian philosophy and religion at the University of Mysore and at Banaras Hindu University. While there, he met several Western monks who were also students of Eastern philosophy. He once wrote, I left Europe for India as a Christian, I discovered I was a Hindu, and I returned to Europe a Buddhist, without ever having ceased to be Christian. In 1965, Father Panikar served as an advisor at the Second Vatican Council in Rome and helped draft Nostre Aetate, the Declaration on the Relation of the Church to Non-Christian Religions. Panikar became a visiting professor at Harvard Divinity School in 1966 and in 1972 professor of religious studies at University of California, Santa Barbara. In 1987, he moved to Tavertet in the hills north of Barcelona, where he founded the Raymond Panikar Vivarium Foundation, a center for intercultural studies. Over the years, Father Panikar authored more than 52 books and 900 articles. One of the metaphors I use is that we are all seeing the world from our particular point of view. We see the world through a window. And here I say two things. First, the more cleaner the window is, the less I see the window and the glass. And the more I am in tools and in love with what I see. So I don't see my window. I see it through the window. And I need my fellow who tell me, look here, you are looking through a window. But then I have to tell him, sorry, you are also looking through a window. And then, and then we compare notes. And in Great Bar we see the same landscape, but perhaps we see it a different way also. And they have to have said, no, no, I would like to see that, and it's all right. So we need each other. But here's another thing, with the matter of the window. I see through my window, and I cannot say that I do not see what I see through my window. I don't see through the window of my neighbor. But if I love my neighbor, which I think is not bad, then I will have to hear the description of what my neighbor say, and then say, well, sorry, I don't see that, because I see the window. But I hear you telling me something else. Well, what do I discover? I discover two things. I discover that the other, my neighbor, doesn't see the same world as I see. But I also I discover that I don't see the whole world. Because unless he's a fool and I'm a fanatic, or I haven't heard him, I hear. And you remember that St. Paul said that he, faith comes from hearing. I hear the other telling me something about the world, or reality, about he or she sees through the window, that I don't. And then, well, I say, well, then the world is much nicer than I thought. I thought I was seeing the whole thing, picture, and now you are telling me that the thing is a little, well, I don't like more or like better. It's an enrichment, it's a challenge. 
And here begins the interreligious dialogue. You say what you hear, you say what you believe, you say you experience, and are ready at the same time to hear the other telling other narratives, other beliefs, other experiences. And then we dialogue. In a statement from his residence dated January 26, 2010, Father Panikar wrote, Dear friends, I would like to communicate with you that I believe the moment has come to withdraw from all public activity. I will continue to be close to you in a deeper way through silence and prayer. And in the same way, I would ask you be close to me in this last period of my existence. In taking my leave from you, I would like to thank you from the bottom of my heart for having enriched me with the relationship I have had with each of you. Thankful for the gift of life, which is only such if lived in communion with others, it is from this spirit that I have lived out my ministry. On August 26, 2010, Father Raymond Panikar died. He was 91 years young.